Nashville, flip a coin. Honestly, that might be just as effective a way to try and determine the slight differences between the Winnipeg Jets and Nashville Predators, going into the second round series that the hockey world is patiently awaiting. Game 1 goes Friday night at Bridgestone Arena, 7 p.m. Central Time, it's going to be a fast, physical, high-tempo series, said Predators defenseman Ryan Ellis. This is the one I'm sure they've had circled and I know we've had circled on our calendars. Both teams did their job to get by the first round and we meet here in the second. This is the battle of the two top ones and it will be a great series, no argument here. The President's Trophy was captured by the Predators, who finished three points ahead of the Jets in the standings, thanks in part to a 3-1-1 record in head-to-head -head competition during a season series that produced 41 goals and a host of highlight reel moments. For two teams that have great goaltending and know what it takes to defend, there were plenty of high-scoring affairs, though things should be a bit tighter in what will be the first playoff meeting between the Central Division rivals. It felt for most of this season that this matchup was inevitable, said Predators general manager David Paul. Here we go, the Jets disposed the Minnesota Wild in five games during the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs, while the Colorado Avalanche pushed the Predators to six games. Both teams earned convincing 5-0 victories in the series clincher, setting up this battle for the ages, it's an evenly matched series right now, with the way everything is unfolding right now, said Jets forward Matt Hendricks. You're not going to hear any complaints. You've got to go through the best teams to get to the final anyways, so you might as well do it now, special teams are going to be key and discipline is going to be key. As the emotions seem to ramp up as the playoffs go on, you tend to see a little bit more uncharacteristic penalties from guys, in terms of stick work or extracurriculars after the whistles. You have to keep your emotions in check, which in turn will help you be more in control of yourself and your actions on the ice. The Jets aren't planning to shy away from the scrums this round. Though extra attention will be taken to try and avoid any retaliatory minors, those kind of just come hand in hand with being in big games and being in the playoffs, said Jets defenseman Josh Morrissey. The games are going to be intense. Sometimes you're going to need to take a punch, go off the ice, and live to play another day and keep going. No matter who you are playing, it doesn't change. It's the game one in the game. Here is a closer look at how the two teams stack up, position by position. Goaltending It's not often that a pair of Ezina Trophy finalists go head-to-head -head in round two, but the battle between Connor Hellebuyck of the Jets and Pekka Rene of the Predators should be fantastic. Both netminders posted outstanding numbers, except during the season series. Hellebike went 2-2 against the Predators, posting a 3.91 goals against average and .882 save percent and Rene wasn't much better, going 3-1 with a 3.52 goals against average and .901 save percent. Both goalies were pulled once in the opening round but regrouped nicely. Rene is the frontrunner for the Vezina, which would normally give him the slight edge, but Hellebuyck comes into the series playing just a little bit better and he's gone 120 minutes without allowing a goal, finishing the opening round with a 4-1 record, a 1.93 goals against average and .924 save percent, edge Jets defense this is where things get really interesting. The Predators are considered by many to employ the best defense core in the NHL and they're led by the formidable top four of PK. Zuban, Matias Ekel, Roman Josie and Ryan Ellis. The Jets counter with Jacob Truba, Josh Morrissey, Dustin Bufflin and should get a boost from the return of Toby Enstrom for the second round. Enstrom's vision and passing ability will be a key to trying to limit the effectiveness of the Predators' forecheck. Bufflin was outstanding against the Wild, while Truba looked more comfortable as the series wore on as he worked his way back from an ankle injury. The Predators bring plenty of offense from the back end, but they only got one goal against the Avalanche and it came from Ekholm. That number should be on the rise this round. The complementary pieces on the third pairing are also doing a nice job for both teams as well. Josie had a five-assist game against the Jets in February and remains one of the more underrated blue liners in the NHL, edge, Predators forwards both of these teams pride themselves on depth and boast plenty of high-end talent. The Jets' top trio of Mark Schiefel, Blake Wheeler and Kyle Connor set the pace, while the Predators' first line of Ryan Johansson with Philip Forsberg and Victor Arvidsson does the same. But the supporting casts are also stocked with plenty of guys who can make an impact. It was a quiet opening round for Kyle Turris and Kevin Fiale, but the second line with Craig Smith enjoyed success against the Jets during the regular season and they'll try to do the same. Predators center and two-time Stanley Cup champion Nick Bonino is a proven playoff performer and his wingers, Austin Watson and Colton Sissons, tied for the team points lead in the opening round. They'll likely see a lot of the Schiefel line this series. 
the addition of Paul Stasny bolstered the Jets down the middle, and he'll look to be a difference maker against the Predators along with linemates Patrick Lean and Nikolai Ehlers. Jets have a little bit more offensive firepower up front. Edge Jets special teams The Jets finished in the top 10 on both the power play, 5th, and the penalty kill, tied for 7th during the regular season, while the Predators were 6th on the penalty kill and tied for 12th on the power play. The Jets scored three times on the power play and allowed three goals while shorthanded in the opening round, while the Predators scored three and gave up only two goals in the special teams battle against the Colorado Avalanche. Edge Jets coaching There's some interesting history between the two head coaches in this series, a subplot worth noting. When Jets head coach Paul Maurice was fired by the Carolina Hurricanes 30 games into the 2003-04 season, it was Predators bench boss Peter Laviolette who took over for him. LaViolette led the Hurricanes to the Stanley Cup in 2006, but when he was dismissed 25 games into the 2008-09 campaign, it was Maurice who was brought back by general manager Jim Rutherford. Maurice has been to the Stanley Cup final once, with the Hurricanes in 2002, and is 29-33 in the postseason during his career. LaViolette is 70-60 and made it to the Stanley Cup final on two other occasions, in 2010 with the Philadelphia Flyers, and last spring with the Predators. Both men are smart tactically and are ready to face one another for the first time in the postseason. La Violette gets a slight edge in this category based on the combination of his regular season and playoff history. Edge credit is the pick for the second time in these playoffs, the Jets enter the series with a severe disadvantage when it comes to playoff experience but that didn't hurt them in the opening round and it won't likely hurt them in the second either. The Predators have an outstanding team and are determined to finish the job after reaching Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Final last spring. But it's been a long time since the President's Trophy winner captured the title, 2008, when the Detroit Red Wings got the job done. With that in mind, take the Jets in seven games in what figures to be a highly entertaining series. Jets in 7, Queeb at postmedia.com, twitter.com slash Weeb Sunsports Winnipeg Jets, Atlanta Thrashers Stanley Cup Playoff History 2007 Atlanta Thrashers vs New York Rangers Rangers swept Thrashers 4-0 April 12th, Rangers 4 Thrashers 3 April 14th, Rangers 2 Thrashers 1 April 17th, Rangers 7 Thrashers 0 April 19th, Rangers 4 Thrashers 20 2015 Winnipeg Jets vs Anaheim Ducks Ducks swept Jets 4-0 April 16th, Ducks 4 Jets 2 April 18th, Ducks 2 Jets 1 April 20th Ducks 5 Jets 4 OT April 22nd Ducks 5 Jets 20 2018 Winnipeg Jets vs Minnesota Wild Jets 1 4 to 1 April 11 Jets 3 Wild 2 April 13th Jets 4 Wild 1 April 15th Wild 6 Jets 2 April 17th Jets 2 Wild 0 April 20 Jets 5 Wild 0 Projected Game 1 Lineups Winnipeg Jets Forward Skyle Connor Mark Schiefel Blake Wheeler Nikolai Ellers Paul Stasny Patrick Leaney Andrew Kopp Brian Little Jack Roslovic Brandon Teneve Adam Lowry Joel Armia Defense Josh Morrissey Jacob Truba Toby Enstrom Dustin Bufflin Ben Chirot, Joe Morrow Tyler Myers Goalies Connor Hellebike Steve Mason Asheville Predators Forwards Philip Forsberg Ryan Johansson Victor Arvidsson Kevin Fiala Kyle Turris Craig Smith Austin Watson Nick Bonino Colton Sissons Rian Hartman Scott Hartnell Mike Fisher, Kai, Ajar and Karate Fence Mashes at home PK. Sub and Roman Josie Ryan Ellis Alex A. Emelin Matter Wangoli Specca Rina Jews Sarah.